Good morning, it's July 22nd, and uh, I'm on my way to the dentist. What fun! Annual checkup or cleaning, I don't know what's happening today. Uh, maybe it's a checkup today. I think the cleaning was in January. Uh, it's about a half hour walk, I'm hoping, because that's what I've allowed for it. <laughs> um, Kind of in the direction of walking around the lake, which I normally do on Mondays, but not quite. So I'll probably just go down Albert, at least to start with. And then I'll have to cut across the southern end of the park to get to the dentist's office, which is uh, strip mall, which I've walked by before, but not recently. And then later I will walk back from there, and that'll be part two of this, to give me a good solid hour today, I would think, of recording. And of course, I forgot my sunglasses. And then of course, when I get back, back into the editing booth. <laughs> It's fairly cool right now. It's minus, not minus, not that cool. It's about 15, 16, so uh, pleasant. It's going up to 26, I think, today. So pretty warm, but not as hot as it has been. Which way is the sky going? Very nice summer day. Went to see Cirque du Soleil last night, OVO, uh, which was fun at Kirk in Vancouver because uh, the first Cirque du Soleil show we saw here, Saltumbunco, I think it was called, and the very next year we were in Quebec City after the World Science Fiction Convention in uh, Montreal. We went to Quebec City as well on that trip. And uh, Cirque du Soleil was there in their tent. And we thought, well, that'd be really cool to go see it in the tent. And so even though the tickets were very expensive, we went and it was OVO, the same show we saw last night. Although the experience in the tent was better than the one we had last night, it was still good to see. Uh, I got fairly cheap seats last night, so we weren't nearly as uh, front and center as I recall us being for OVO in the tent. But uh, Cirque du Soleil is always a good time. There's a Rough Rider game this weekend as well, but that's on Saskatchewan Rough Riders, Canadian Football League, for those who are not from around here. It was supposed to be on uh, Saturday, but uh, because of some of the players coming down with COVID, it's been delayed by one day to uh, Sunday. So Sunday at five o'clock will be there. I don't know if it will overlap with the uh, Cirque du Soleil that night or not. If it does, there'll be some interesting parking considerations for sure. question is, I don't think the direct route is actually to go into the park. It could be. So that I just walk down Albert. Normally I'd walk around the lake. Maybe when I come back I'll go through the park. And to get there I'll just uh, run. And yeah, I'll go down. I'll cross, I'll cross Albert somewhere down here today instead of going under the tent. Because if you go under the bridge there through the tunnel do uh, end up going a bit out of your way instead of just taking a straight walk. Of course you get all this annoying traffic, but c'est la vie. So there's the lake. I'm kind of walking along the lake. I always say this is lake view over here, but these are the only houses that actually have a lake view of all the ones that are in the lake view neighborhood. 
really the only houses in the city that have a lake view per se. Maybe some of the uh, taller apartment buildings you get a lake view, I guess. It really feels quite a bit warmer than the 14 unit said it was when I checked, so I'd say it's warmed up quite a bit. Oh, pelicans. Oh, a lot of pelicans today. Way more than you usually see. The river is still, uh, the creek is still quite high from all the rain, so they're probably getting lots of fish coming through there. Floating around on the water. That's worth a stop to see. More down there. I've never seen that many there. There's usually a few, but I've never seen that many at once. There's some ducks there too. Gotta keep moving. I may have underestimated the time, so uh, gotta concentrate on moving on down. Oh, I guess uh, going down the other way would have at least avoided me this light, but if it changes against me, I'll just cross up here. And that will actually be the more direct route anyway. Probably be able to cross at this light. Yeah, because it's just changing now. Yeah, I got time to make it here. Perfect. Didn't lose a step. First, there's the park. Um, we'll go straight down Albert today. Because I don't do this very often. It's a long straight walk, but... It's got trees on either side of it, so there's that. I can cut off a little bit of the corner further up here. Once I get there. So this is some of the interesting big houses along here. I sometimes walked along and pointed out. The only problem with this is I'm going to be sweaty when I get to the <laughs> dentist's office. But I can't help that. I'm doing it this way. Now from here, I can dip inside the park a little bit get off of Albert Street and not alter my direct route approach. So let's go in here. That's the lovely flowers. There's the legislative building, of course. collection of geese in front of it, enjoying the public lawn. This is the war memorial over here, provincial war memorial. I'm working on the 
gardens. It's much warmer than I thought it was according to what the temperature was told me when I checked it this morning. The sun has a lot of heat in it already. So anyway, there's the western end of the legislative building, the west wing, one might say. Not much going on with the gardens here. Nice little fountain I've pointed out on numerous occasions. Walking right here. There's benches around it so you can sit and watch the fountain while you eat your lunch, should you be so inclined. for that today. This is the path that takes us by associated, assorted Associated as well, assorted government office buildings. Assorted government office buildings associated with the government, which of course is headquartered in the legislative building we just passed. I suppose the legislative building is where the politicians have offices. Some of them, anyway. And these other buildings are where the many, many, many people employed by the provincial government have offices. This is the Walter Scott Building, named after the first premier of Saskatchewan. Built in the 40s or 50s, not sure which. There's sort of three in a row here, each one named after a former premier, so... Walter Scott Building, then we'll go by the Lloyd Building, and then we'll go by the T.C. Douglas Building. Okay, Walter Scott Building. Oh, I didn't bring a mask. I don't know if they still want one or not. I don't know why they'd care. <laughs> Once you're in the chair, you obviously don't wear one. Come to the point where I'm startled whenever somebody wants me to wear a mask. I know they're trying to reimpose them in places, but I don't know why, because it's quite clear from the data they don't do anything. Mask mandates at least don't do anything. An N95 might provide some protection, except of course it's not airtight, and that's oodles of space for viruses to get in around the edges. So just a regular cotton mask or surgical mask, it's quite clear. It doesn't really do a thing. But people wear them anyway. I guess it makes them feel better.
just me saying all this, you can find the data if you look, if you're curious. Okay, here's the Lloyd building. Same with the vaccines, they do nothing to prevent transmission, that's clear. They seem to have some benefit in reducing severity of illness, but they don't prevent people from passing it along or getting it. And I now know dozens of people who have had it like, well, it was too, hardly any symptoms too. Well, it was kind of like a bad cold. I haven't had it yet. I fully expect to get it at some point, but not yet. Nobody in my family's had it. My daughter, who's been with around all sorts of little kids and and friends who tested positive and came down with it. Hasn't caught it. <laughs> My wife and I have been at multiple events with no masks or anything like that. Or testing, nothing like that. Hasn't touched us yet. Doesn't mean it won't tomorrow, but. <laughs> I'm not going to live my life as if I'm in imminent danger every minute. You actually are in imminent danger every minute, you just don't always know it. <laughs> like walking? I've had a couple of close, close, close calls just walking. Driving? Everybody's had close calls driving. A meteor could hit me at any second. It happens. Lightning out of a clear blue sky has been known to happen. This is the T.C. Douglas building. I'm sort of cutting off the corner. The direct route would have been to go down to the corner and turn left, but this, I think, should cut me off a few steps here. I don't know what they call this exactly. The bowl, maybe? It's been used for concerts and things. It's very pretty right now. All the uh, rain we've had has made everything very green and lush looking. In the Douglas building there is uh, well designed to reflect the prairie landscape. I don't know if this is leftover from the rain or from somebody watering or Something sprang a leak. It seems like a lot of water for just being a leftover puddle. This is the middle of the building. It's a very long building. I wonder is, I wonder if you can go up there and walk all the way along it up there. No, no, probably you could, but anyway, I'm taking the steps up and over here to straighten out my path. Geese out there enjoying the lawns. <laughs> we'll go up and over here. It's a bit more direct. I suppose the stairs were more direct than taking the ramp, but I would have done that back there. And clearly I could have, so maybe next time I'll walk, walk along there.
I'll just go straight on down to the street from here. So did I really save anything by not going down to the corner and making a right angle? I don't know. Maybe not. Ten minutes should take me down to where I'm going. over there, Regina Christian School, and then the condos over there. I've walked over there a couple of times. It's a high school. Uh, the boldest. Just out of view there as well. Okay, now we just have this long straight walk pointing us directly at the dentist's office. Clear down at the end of this. a snowshoe hare or a rabbit. This is the West Canada Rehab Center over here. Somebody not that long ago asked me to walk by here. Well, here I am. I guess they had spent some time in there. I was hoping it'd be cooler than this. I'm not particularly fond of showing up sweaty at the dentist, but that's what's going to happen. So, what's kind of rehab will be just to our left here as we go by. Right there. Good morning from Malta. Dave, how are things in Malta? things in Guacamora. I'm going to be tight here. I shouldn't be late late, but I'll be probably coming in hot and sweaty right on the stroke of my appointment. intersection where that tall building is, is we have to cross and then we'll basically be there. Burning. I've 
walked over there a few times too, but not recently. And here I was about five minutes later setting out than I wanted. And of course I've walked through this portion of the park quite often as well. Might go that way when I come back. So I can do at least a bit of a walk along the lake. Or maybe I'll take an entirely different path. Things are hot. It's warm when I'm walking, but it's actually a very pleasant temperature right now. And as I said, it's only going to 26 or 27 today. After being 36 a week or so ago, that was probably the hottest weather of the summer, although it could get hotter in hotter weather in August. Usually we only get a week when it's that hot, maybe once, maybe twice this summer. Temperatures are already becoming noticeably cooler at night. My daughter will be out in Cypress Hills next week uh, working with the part of her working with ICE camp, which is uh, educating youth in engineering and science. She'll be at the air. Uh, <coughs> I don't know if I can cross the road down here, so I think I may have to cross over here. Anyway, there's no sidewalk on this side. So. And I was checking their weather. The highest point of the Cypress Hills is the highest point east of the Rockies, between the Rockies and the Laurentians. The highest point in Cypress Hills is higher than Mont Tremblant in Quebec by 500 meters. I was just there and it seemed like a mountain, but the surrounding land is lower. And uh, it's actually higher than Banff, which is up in the mountains, although in a valley. So, uh, and of course you lose temperature with altitude. So the highest... Uh, I think today it's supposed to be 27 here and only 21 in Cypress Hills and let's go to 13 tonight I think and it's going to single digits there nine so she uh, after being out there once she realized she needed to take warmer clothes than she thought she'd have to for these uh, upcoming workshops the instructors from uh, ice camp will go out and, uh, and sort of run the observatory there uh, show people things anybody that wants to show up who might be vacationing in the Cypress Hills all right well practically there except for getting across this intersection the dentist is right over there to the left where you can see some signs there's a strip mall that he's in you can't quite see it from here you can see the old lake shore Steakhouse, that's been there forever. Yeah, if I'd gotten away five minutes earlier, it would have been perfect. But you know how inanimate objects are. I'm in a bit of a hurry, and uh, it never happens, but my shoelace got a knot in it. I was trying to untie it because I hadn't untied it when I took it off, right? I guess there's a crosswalk over there. There's just not a sidewalk to speak of coming up this way. So I can cross whichever way makes sense when I get to the corner here. Roberts Plaza apartment tower. I believe it's Loras Disposal Pickup Day. Now, whichever way makes sense when I get to the corner, I will cross, and it looks like it's probably this way. If that light stays green long enough. I don't know how long it'll stay green. I need about 10, 15, oh, we've got lots of time. 24, 21, yeah. It'll be perfect. Get across, and then I can cross the other way. Because we're going right there. 
It says Lakeshore Medical Clinic, but that's also where Dang Storp dentists are. The daycare over here, I think. Perfect. Let's just see what they're building on the corner here. It says retail development. It used to be a gas station there. And then nothing for a long time. I, people generally aren't that keen on building where there have been gas stations because of the cleanup required. It's like a, kind of a dull office complex, but oh well. All right, I'll go through the weeds. Because it's dry enough and it's the direct route. And I'll be right on time to the minute. <laughs> oh, I thought it was dry enough. It's actually less dry than I thought, drat. I was in the mud before I realized it. Ah! Well, that was unfortunate. And I slapped it up the back of my leg, too. Okay, well that made me almost late. But anyway, we will stop here, so look for part two. Probably in about an hour when I head home again. Okay, this is part two of my trip to the dentist. I have come out of the dentist. Uh, just a checkup today, so no work done. Although apparently I'm coming back to the dentist next week to get a filling. Um, which I was kind of expecting from one spot on my teeth that was causing me some problems. So yeah, that'll be fun. So here we go again, back the way we came, although I will vary it. Still going to start by crossing up here. It seems more direct, and I'm not going through there. I picked up a lot of mud. Somehow that looked dry when I set out into it, although it's quite clear from this direction that it's not dry. So, I may do this again next week, but I doubt it. I didn't like showing up here sweaty, so next week I'll make sure I have a car when I come for my dentist appointment. Oh yeah, how did I think that was dry? Looking at it from this direction, it looked dry until you got in the middle of it, so that was foolish on me. There's always a puddle there because of where the tanks were when that used to be a gas station in that corner. Anywho, we will cross up here and then decide how we approach, oh, perfect timing, the return trip. Could just go down and walk along the lake, and this is supposed to be my lake walk day. I would go that way, but there's no sidewalk, so it's kind of annoying. Could, of course, go over there and walk down, but then I really am repeating myself, so I guess I'll go this way. It was only a little while ago that I walked along this path for the very first time that I had ever done so. Yes, I got, I got to the dentist. I was way sweatier than I would have liked to have been for something like that, so... Perhaps it wasn't the best choice to walk on a warm day. Actually, it feels less warm now, but there's just a hint of cloud cover, so maybe that makes the difference. So this is the tree plantation over here for the cities, where they, they grow trees that are then placed around the city as required. And then if we keep going this way, we will come to the lake. It's just a question of how I walk from there to continue back home. Some very nice uh, condos there. The building used to have the Saskatchewan archives in it. And I'm not sure if it still does or not. I have a feeling they moved, but I'm not 100% sure. Ah, 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 ah. Crows. Smart Alex. Them and Blue Jays. 
remember watching the Blue Jay, a group of Blue Jays basically bullying a gopher. They kind of surrounded him, and every time he went in one direction, one of them would run in and nip at his tail. They were just being real, like juvenile delinquent uh, Blue Jays. Now that's actually a retirement kind of living facility there. I knew somebody that lived there for a little while. It really looks nice. I've never been inside though. Now, they're supposed to be doing some more work in our backyard today on the uh, deck we're getting built. It was halted very thoroughly by the inch of rain we had a few days ago. Which is why there's still water standing around in various places. Random geese. There are always geese. feeling this is a fairly new little path. Maybe that's why I've never walked along it until this summer. Maybe they only built it in the last year or two. There's your mosquito breeding grounds. These trees are interesting because they're uh, different colored leaves so they they stand out from the crowd. They might be a... Are they a willow of some sort? They almost have that look. I think the direct route will be to go more or less along the uh, lake like I normally do on Fridays. It'll be a good solid hour walk by the time I get back. It was a little over 30 minutes walking and it won't be any shorter going back so <clears throat> there's the lake through the trees over there. State building, always a landmark. Last time I was down this way, I walked the grass over here, but I've already done that, so today I will cross the uh, intersection here. And see where that takes us. Center of the Arts is over there, Science Center is off in that direction. Nobody coming, I can probably risk it. Now, do I go down and join the lake path or do I walk along this sidewalk? I never walk along this sidewalk, so let's walk along this sidewalk. At least to start with. <coughs> There's the lake, so I'm still kind of walking along around the lake. Not really around the lake, alongside the lake. Not 
allowed to sleep over in the park, that sign said. Or build a tent. Or erect a tent. Or have an open fire. No camping, in other words. Oops, the trees over there. So last time I walked this way, I did walk this way, but I was on that side in the grass. And then I went over into that area, but today I will stay over on this side. More geese, more puddles, more mosquito breeding grounds. Now the puddles there may be a result of the rain, but also whenever they water the grass, they are reinforced. Reinforced puddles. <laughs> it actually reminds me of uh, Jurassic Park and the scene where they <laughs> look out over the big open field and there's dinosaurs everywhere. Birds are dinosaurs, so, or direct descendants of them, so. <laughs> In a way, that's exactly what that is. And yes, they do cross the street and hold up traffic from time to time. I'll stay on this sidewalk as long as it exists, just because I don't walk down it very often. I don't think I've ever walked down it with the camera. Parking lot, very popular parking lot for using the park and the lake. There's the lake right over there. I'll walk around it as usual again next Friday, I'm sure. The day was just a little different. That's Pine Island, which I went on to last Friday when I did my walk around the lake. Everything comes together up here. This sidewalk ends, I believe. Apparently the horizon, the gimbal has decided the horizon should be akimbo. It's an akimbo gimbal, or a gimbal akimbo. Hello. Hello. I used to see your vlogs from Indi back in the Oh, did you? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, hi. Uh, thanks for yeah. making the vlogs. I was missing Rosanna when I was stuck back in uh, India due to ba flight ban. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is cool. It's amazing, you know, that I can do this and people are watching it all over the world. Yeah, it's yeah, amazing. Yeah. I love this city. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks. Thanks for stopping. Have a good one. You too. That was cool. So he was watching it. He's. When he was missing Regina and he was back in India, he was watching my walks and then he spotted me doing this, so he came by to say hi. That's cool. Alrighty. Now we will join the lake path because there's really no choice other than to keep walking on the grass. I don't want to do because of the because of the fact there's no sidewalk and no wait that didn't make sense I don't want to walk in the grass because there's no sidewalk that's a tautological I don't want to walk in the grass because it could be wet and there could be mosquitoes and things how's that that's better Now we have rejoined our usual lake path, but I'll probably still vary it just because this is not my usual walk around the lake. So maybe I'll go back over by Albert Street or something. Or not, I don't know. Maybe I'll just follow my usual path. After all, the gardens in front of the legislative building are only there so long. So I should walk through them while they're still at their peak couple of months they'll be frosted and out of there. It's always hard to imagine that this time of the year. 
but it's true within three months for sure all the flowers will have frosted and we'll be starting to look at possibilities of snow Caragannons all have seeds on them earlier they had flowers it's funny how that works there's Wascana Rehab again. Somebody had, again, earlier asked if I would walk by it. Well, there it is. I didn't walk too close to it today, but I went by it twice. Going and coming, you know, coming and going, whichever way you look at that. I actually prefer walking around the lake in the winter. There's usually far fewer people on the path. And as I've established by now, I think, I like being alone on these things, but it's hard to arrange. And the lake is very popular, obviously. Followed that path too, but it's probably wet. I don't know why people play their own music out loud to annoy everybody else. But at least his wasn't too loud. Nor did he, of course, make any sound to indicate he was behind me, except he was playing his music, so I guess it was good from that point of view. A lot of geese out today, fattening themselves up for when it's time to fly south. Again, in a couple of months, that'll start happening, I would think. That'll be late September already. Geese, geese everywhere. Everywhere, goose, goose. Here, goose, there, goose, everywhere, goose, goose. Old Wascana had a park, E-I-E-I-O. Oh, a really a Kimbo horizon there. After looking at the geese. In that park he had a goose. E -I -E -I -O. Also people tend to come out in the morning in the summer around the park because it's cooler, whereas in the summer, or in the winter, they tend to come out later in the day because then the sun is up. Well, let's go take a look at Spruce Island. I haven't been out to the overlook here for the last couple of walks, I don't think. There you go. Spruce Island, and there's downtown over there. The uh, totem pole, which I went and looked at not too long ago, somebody commented that it was there, and I said, yep, it is, and I went to look at it. And I will again, not today. I want to go home. I haven't done any work yet today, thanks to my dentist appointment. There's people in the trees doing this and that. I think I'll actually leave the, the path and uh, take a slightly different approach just because I'm not doing my usual lake watch. There's that horizon tilting now to the right. It is downhill to that direction, but not as much as that makes it look. I don't quite understand the traffic barriers keeping you from going under the bushes. But. Let's go out here. I don't go out here very often. And then we're going to go 
straight across the road here. So there is an outflow here. Down there. Or an inflow, I guess, not an outflow. Probably another aeration feature. Okay, let's go straight across now instead of going along the path. Straight on over to Albert Street, cross wherever that makes sense. I'd like to go see if the uh, Pelicans are still there under the bridge. So that means crossing the bridge on the same side I crossed it when I came. This is a powerhouse. I don't know if it still generates electricity or not, but it used to generate electricity for the legislative building, I believe. And in my uh, fantasy novel, Age Bane, which takes place in a fantasy version of Saskatchewan, landscape wise. wise the equivalent to the legislative building is the King's Palace. And the way magic works in that uh, world is you have to have a source of energy to power it, which means it's, it's essentially coal-fired and gas-powered magic. So you need to have a source of heat. And so there actually is basically a power plant attached to the palace, which provides the heat required for the mages to do magic and uh, the bad guy Falk lives somewhere where he has a natural gas torch burning all the time that he draws the heat from for the magic in his own domain so kind of cool I thought there is a bit of it's a fantasy but it's a bit steampunky too there's an airship and that sort of thing going on and the outside world is quite steampunky. We only see a glimpse of it. If I ever write the sequel, the publisher didn't want it, so I never have, but I still could. It actually takes place more in the outside world. And uh, I think at one point it called for a balloon race across what's essentially the southern United States. Southwestern United States, if I remember right. I planned the whole thing, I just never got it written. <clears throat> See, that's what I'd really like to do with my remaining good years. <laughs> it's just write my own stuff. But you know, there's still that necessity of making some money. And then I've got the publishing thing going and it's a huge time sink as opposed to, you know, takes up time that would otherwise be spent writing my own work. And I, I really enjoy the publishing. I wonder if I've misfocused my efforts sometimes. This is the Walter Scott building again. I walked by it going the other way, but now I'm going to go over to Albert Street. There's actually a crosswalk right here I can cross if I wish. It's not my favorite because there's no light, but it is a pedestrian crosswalk, so people are supposed to stop for you. Here on Memorial Way. On the other hand, it's sunny on the other side, so still, that's where all the interesting houses are. Ah, there's too many cars coming. I don't want to stop them. I'll walk down this way along the path, which I started down from the other end when I came this way. a shared use path. You actually are allowed to bicycle on it, it looks like. I was never sure of that. Whoops. That's the, that's the cord catching on my arm. And Whoops. That's, uh, all of that is about the cord catching on my arm and messing up what the gimbal is doing. So I apologize for the jerkiness there. It's not that I'm a jerk. My technology is a jerk. Look at that, I did it again. I 
That time it didn't seem to have anything to do with the cord. It's almost like the gimbal was running out of juice, but it's got box. It's shadier on this side too. There's no reason to come down this side. So yes, this is Albert Street. It's the main north-south road through the city. Comes in off and goes out on Highway 11. There's a Highway 6 to the south and then I guess it's Highway 6. And then you can join Highway 11, the north end, which is the one that takes you up to Saskatoon. Ready for more coffee when I get home. Yeah, I do have to go back for a filming next week. And I hate that because, of course, it means, well, no lunch is what it means because I'm having it at 10.30 in the morning and I'll be frozen. So, portion of my mouth will be frozen. Not sure what that honking was about. I didn't see anything that should make anybody honk at anybody. Maybe they were honking at you to be sure. You heard them. Somebody did that yesterday. I'm sure they were honking because they saw me with the camera. That's a nice house. Never been in it. But I've seen pictures. So maybe this intersection will time out well for crossing the street. Still shows uh, green going this way. So if that lasts, might be perfect for crossing. And I get across. There shouldn't be much time left. This is the road again that goes right in front of the legislative building over there. They're going to have to wait, it looks like. It'll be a very long hike. There's the legislative building again over there. Twentieth Avenue. Yeah, that cyclist was there either. Again, no warning bell. Hi, Ahmed. I thought I'd get here. There'd be there'd be just about time to change. It's a really slow light. Should have gone on down to the next one, probably. It changes more often. I bet you that honk was for your benefit, too. This is ridiculous. Getting to think it's not going to change. Well, now there it goes. Boy, that was a... <clears throat> it was a long wait considering how green, it, how long it was green before I even got here. been better off going on down to the Regina Avenue crossing. That one changes far more frequently because it's a busier intersection. 
All right, we will go on. Hello, Rosban, Roz Roshan. Sorry, my eyes. Dubai. Oh. Well, a little earlier, if somebody stopped to say hi to me that had seen me walking and knew that knew who I was because he had watched my walks from India. He was uh, living here, but he was back in India and he missed Regina, and so he found my walks. And so he stopped to say how much he appreciated them. So that's kind of cool. Well, I won't talk about how hot it is here if you're from Dubai. <laughs> it's actually not hot at all right now. I'm doing something to that old house. Clearly. Nice prairie lilies. That's the provincial flower there, those tall lilies there. I think it's going to 27 today, which is not particularly hot. It was 36. A couple of weeks ago, 10 days ago maybe. So, uh, and the hottest it's ever been here, I mean the record temperature for Saskatchewan was set back in the 30s and it was, what would that be in Celsius? Must have been about, let me think. been about 43 I guess well maybe more like 44 or 45 maybe even higher it was 114 degrees Fahrenheit and I should be able to do that in my head but it's hard when I'm walking anyway that's the record hot day for Saskatchewan set in my dale back in uh, 37 I think during the uh, dust bowl years great drought of the, that decade but most years you'll get temperatures up around 37 or 38 one one or two days is all so around 100 Fahrenheit briefly though it's, it's, un, it's unusual for us to have a really long heat wave though it can happen but even then the temperatures are more in the high 30s for a heat wave here so we don't break 40 very often but it has happened and of course, in the other direction, it goes to minus 40. So it's an extreme climate. There's the lake, which I did not walk by today, like I normally do. But let's see if the pelicans are still here. Oh, well, the ones I saw use earlier don't seem to be, don't seem to be as many of them. Oh, they're down here. They're just more. There we go. There's some rocks there they can stand on. And uh, they catch the fish that are coming over the, uh, the dam here. I'll even focus on them a little tighter there. So that's kind of cool. There's usually a couple there, but it's unusual to see this many. And there, of course, is the creek. Try to get it to focus down there now. There we go. Still flying the Canadian flag since it's July, and July 1st was Canada Day. That'll probably change in August to something else. I don't know how they decide. There must be some sort of procedure where you can request flags flown on the Albert Street Bridge and has to be approved by the city. Or else there's just somebody in the city that decides what they're going to do. I don't know. The gimbal. Come on, gimbal. 
It's really acting up today, I don't know why. Doesn't want to keep pointing straight ahead. Yeah, I will, it does, it all goes back to the wired mic that I'm using. Unfortunately, my wireless mic, last time I tried it, quit halfway through the walk, so, even though it was fully charged. So even though I prefer it, I, I can't trust it. And the wired mic, which is ugly and cheap, works like a charm, so why would I change? Speaker's corner over there. Our familiar corner, if you've walked with me before. Just a couple of more blocks to go now. I'm not quite as hot as I was when I got to the dentist. I walked very briskly over there because I knew I was running late. A little more leisurely coming back. I'm sure the speed of my walking was one reason it seemed hotter going than it does now, even though it's probably warmer air temperature rise now than it was then. Dead end, no thoroughfare. Now, I'll get home and see if they're doing anything. They were supposed to be doing some work about 9.30 while I was at the dentist, so I'm gonna see if that's been done. I didn't get any frantic calls telling me something had gone horribly awry, so hopefully it's all good. And there's the nice garden at the end of the boulevard here that's done by local residents. Dress it up. This is Angus Boulevard. Two houses for sale here if you're looking. This one is for sale. And the one next to it is also for sale. It's probably really nice inside, but I don't much care for the face it presents to the street. I kind of like this one with the awning. Our house used to have an awning on it. All of these probably did, especially before air conditioning, to help keep it cooler. I wouldn't mind putting it back on the front of the house if we ever get to that point of renovation, but at our pace and the cost of everything, that's pretty far down the list. We do need to do stucco repair and paint on the outside and landscape. And if we desperately need new, new grass in the front and to do something with our flower beds. But I've never been a gardener. Nobody in the family is a gardener. <laughs> My mom had arthritis, so she wasn't going to garden, and in any event, she grew up on a farm in Missouri, and she said that she had to garden. It was part of her chores, and uh, once she got off the farm, she had no desire to keep doing gardening. Too much like work, like high school students enjoying their summer day off. So it was just never something I did or was exposed to as a kid as wanting to do, and so I certainly wasn't going to start doing it as an adult. We do grow some years, you know, a few herbs and things like that that we can use. How are you? Hello. Okay, we will stop here 
And that's that. I'll put the two together for the full recording, which will be well over an hour. So thanks for watching, walking with me. I don't know if I'll walk tomorrow or if I'll walk Sunday, but or both, but probably over the weekend. Uh, but anyway, bye.